It's taking a long time. It's going to take a longer time, but we've got to make sure that we're getting it right. Rhode Island Governor Dan McKee speaking with reporters this morning. For more than an hour, he and RIDOT Director Peter Alvidi explained the latest plans for the Washington Bridge. Demolition underway once again, the rebuilding process a little more complicated. Good to have you with us tonight. I'm Patrice Wood. And I'm Dan Janik in for Gene tonight. State leaders addressing the demolition, the reconstruction, and that failed info session we reported on Friday night, at times saying, yeah, they could have done things differently. NBC 10's Gabrielle Caracciolo kicks off our Team 10 coverage tonight. She's live in Providence. Gabrielle? Dan Patrice, the actual construction of a new bridge here won't begin until the end of next year, two years after the Washington Bridge first shut down. The delay due in part to the state waiting another nine months before they're going to choose a company to rebuild the bridge. We know it's a long, it's going to taking a long time. It's going to take a longer time, but we've got to make sure that we're getting it right. A company to rebuild the Washington Bridge won't be selected until June of 2025. Today, the state is restarting the process to secure a bid. The first attempt came up empty, prompting the state to seek feedback before putting the project back out to bid. Did any companies give any indication of how long it will take in order for a new bridge to open? There, no. This time, the state is going through a two-step process to find a company. That'll narrow down applicants before they have to submit a full proposal. Applicants will get $1.75 million to help cover those proposal costs. So why not do the two-step process to begin with? We maybe could have chosen a company much sooner than June of next year. Well, we may have, and uh, that's in the past, but I can't disagree that uh, we, um, it could have been smoother. Removing the bridge's substructure from the Seekonk River is another one of the changes the state is making to attract companies to the project. But that means demolition work won't be finished until the end of next year, months later than initially planned. Why is it that RIDOT keeps needing these do-overs? That we got to do a lot better. Look, I agree with the governor. We have, we have fallen short on a couple of issues here. Now, both the governor and the DOT director today declined to speculate how much these changes will impact the final cost of the demolition or the rebuild. And right now, no one knows when traffic will actually be able to drive over a new bridge. Live in Providence, Gabrielle Caracciolo, NBC 10 News.